Hi, I'm James, and in this video I'm taking a look at Watch Dogs 2 running on Intel HD 5500 graphics. This is on a Core i3-5010U NUC system, and we can see here, once again, even compared to HD 520, frame rates have taken another drop. Um, during this testing they were generally between about 10 and 20 frames per second, um, which is really you know you're hitting that tipping point where particularly for sort of close combat or driving you are really going to struggle with this game um it's simply i mean aiming while sort of firing the taser at enemies even in this intro sequence was a little little troublesome um you can see it's, it's just hard to be precise uh, and also i tried driving just over the golden gate bridge and again frame rates were really quite poor um, and I was really beginning to struggle to sort of move the car around with sort of out hitting other objects uh, and other vehicles and it, yeah you're getting to the point where really I'd say with uh, Intel HD 5500 unless you can start um, tweaking config files to really pull down the graphical settings the game simply isn't going to be playable we can see there I even missed a very simple shot just because there's just not that good response to the mouse input um, on the positive side, even on the older Broadwell chips like this, the game does run. Um, obviously if you have this kind of processor and discrete graphics, results will be very different. Um, I will be taking a look at the game running on some NVIDIA graphics solutions. I'm going to dig out some of those laptops to test with, um, simply because I don't believe it's worth going down to the lower end Intel CPUs now. Um, I will probably take a look at Iris 6100, but you can see here we're going across the Golden Gate Bridge. Frame rates, they do drop as low as sort of 10 frames per second and at the moment up sort of low teens, which really isn't a great experience. You can see the game's very choppy um, and it's just not fun to play at these frame rates. I hope you found this video useful. If you'd like to see more from us in the future, be sure to hit the subscribe button. We've got plenty more videos we're sure you'll enjoy as well, looking at gaming on other platforms. And support us on Patreon if you want to have your say on what we test in the future. Thanks for watching.